time for Pancakes Entertainment, a YouTube channel providing pure fun, enjoyment, and laughter. Yup, you got that right. And I'm so fly. Happy Halloween! Now I know I've been saying that for like last video, but today is actually Halloween. So hopefully you guys get it today, but if not, you probably get it tomorrow. But hopefully you guys do it today, okay? As usual, please be careful out there. I hope you guys are having a good Halloween so far. And yeah. So, as you guys know, on uh, my other video, I did a psycho quiz. I took a psycho quiz to see if I am a psychopath or not. And you guys will have to go tune into the video to see what my results are. That video is going to be on Pinky's Entertainment. But this quiz that I'm about to take is going to be on The Pinky Show, which is this one that you guys are watching on right now. So, yeah. Turn this off. Okay, so I am going to take a sociopath quiz. I found a sociopath quiz that I'm going to take. Now, I don't know if any YouTubers have taken a sociopath quiz. I know some took the psycho quiz, but I don't know if they took the sociopath quiz. So if they didn't, I am the first one. And put hashtag, I want you to comment down below, hashtag pinky first. Okay, I want you to comment down below, hashtag Pinky first, okay? So, before I start this video, make sure you drop the like, it's hot on the like button. Make sure you get low, get low, get low in the comment section. Make sure you shake it like a salt shaker on the subscribe button and turn your post notification bell so you can know when this video is going to be here, okay? Because the bell will be like, ring it again, ring it again, ring it again. Okay, and like I told you guys before, um, that the Psycho Quiz is on Pinky's Entertainment. The Sociopath Quiz, which I'm going to take right now, is going to be on the Pinky Show. And if you guys still get confused, uh, follow my Instagram, my Facebook, and I'm going to put it on my story or let you guys know. Because I'm going to try to do videos like back and forth. So if I do a video on Pinky's Entertainment... Y'all know the next time, the next video that I'm going to do is going to be on the Pinky Show and vice versa. So hopefully you guys don't get confused. Yeah. Or do you guys think that I should kind of label, like maybe do like show reviews, story times on Pinky's Entertainment and do like challenges and stuff on the Pinky Show? I don't know. Let me know which one is better for you guys. But as of now, I'm going to go back and forth to two channels. Okay, let's get it, because you probably are tired of hearing me talking. So let's go. Shut up, Shady. Anyway. Uh, 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 Stay in the back. Okay. Uh. So, as you guys know, again, I am taking a sociopath quiz. So here we go. It's 10 questions, just like the other one. Okay. The first question. In social situations, are you really shy, confident, opinionated, the center of attention, mixing with everyone. So, as you guys know, I have social anxiety. Um, I have really been open about that to you guys. I embrace it. I'm not ashamed of it, ashamed of it at all. I ain't gonna lie, sometimes I can be ashamed of it because I be sometimes I can be I can come off as like a little awkward, a little clumsy. I feel like I can't talk. I feel like my heart is about to beat out of my chest. You know, people probably think I'm a biscuit. I'm really not. I can be quiet. You know, but other than that, I embrace it. Um, I am an introvert. I can be an extrovert once I get to know you and I'm comfortable around you. But honestly, most of the time, I am an introvert. So, now, but that being said, though, I am confident. But I'm not opinionated. So I think the one I'm going to choose, I'm going to choose really shy. Honestly, I wish they had the all the above. Because I am really shy. 
I am confident, but not opinionated. The center of attention? Oh, I can be. I, oh, I don't know. Mixing with everyone? If I know a lot of people at the party, I'm usually mixing with everybody. So I don't know. I think what this one would say really shy. I think I'm just going to put that there. I'm really shy. Okay. Number two. If a friend gets a job that you wanted, how do you feel? I got I get emotional. I'm so happy for them. I'm pleased. They deserve it. I would have been the better person for the job. Or I'm angry that job should have been mine. I think I'm A and B. Um, I feel like if you're like really like my best friend, my close friend, and I know that me and you want a job or we want the same type of job maybe like different positions or similar positions i feel like i'm gonna get emotional and be happy for you but but then also i guess i don't know i feel like it depends on who you are if you're like my bestie my close friend i'm going to get emotional and be happy for you if you're like my friend or like an associate or an acquaintance and me and you have talked about it i'm pleased and you deserve it so again, I am stuck between A and B. Um, I'm gonna say I'm pleased they deserve it. We're gonna go with that one. We're gonna go with that one. Okay, are you manipulative? Yes, isn't everyone? If the situation warrants it, I don't even know what that means. I may have been on the odd occasion. I don't even know what that means. I don't think I'm a manipulative person. I feel like, no offense, you really gonna have to be evil to be a manipulative person or something is low-key wrong with you. I don't mean to say it like that, but I'm just speaking straight facts. What do I have to be manipulative to you for? I'm sorry, that's weird. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, I don't know what that means. Okay, we're gonna, that's not in my personality. I don't know what that means. Number four. Do you possess some kind of criminal behavior? A, I like to see animals getting killed. Is it criminal? That is evil and that is weird. That is psychotic. Mm -hmm. B, I think so. Yes. C, what? No. Or four, no way. I want peace, but I can't be calm. But I can't be calm and keep everything cool. I'm going to go ahead and say, um, no way, I want peace, but I can't be calm and keep everything cool. Like I told y'all in the last video, when I'm like in that mood, when I want to pop off, when I'm angry, when I'm mad, if I'm upset, annoyed, pissed off, I'm going to pop off for you. I'm going to pop off. I'm going to pop off. Now, am I going to kill your dog, kill your cat, uh, Kill your mat, kill your rat, then make it for dinner? No, I'm not doing all that. Cause what the fudge? No. So yeah. Do you ever feel guilty all the time, even when there's no need? Yes, I sometimes do. I don't like it. No, why would I? Or occasionally for a second. All the time, if there, even when there's no need. I feel like I am comfortable now. That if I feel the type of way, I'm going to let you know to your face or on the phone or doing a text message. Or if I'm popping off and I know that you deserve for me to pop off at you, I still feel guilty. Or like stuff like that, I, I still feel guilty. Or if I kind of said it in a rude way or maybe I'm like, oh my God, did I say that in a rude way? Then, yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead and say all the time. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say that. Do you control your anger? One, I don't get angry. B, most of the time. C, I try, but it's hard. D, why would I want to? I'm going to go ahead and say most of the time. It's really between most of the time and I don't get angry. But once I get angry, like I keep telling y'all, run. It's a whole different pinky. It's a whole different pinky. So, for that, I'm just going to say most of the time, I can control my anger. Like, you really going to have to do something or say something to get me angry. Because, 
And I'm the type, once I pop off, it takes me literally 30 minutes to calm the hate down. I hate that. Like, once I'm, like, in an attitude, leave me the alone. And I really mean that real talk. Seriously. I mean it in the humblest way possible. Run, get out my way. Okay? Let me be in my in my peace and my mojo. Let give me some space. Literally. Sip slushy. And that's all I N G baby. Anyway. Oh, oh my god. That's snorkel. <laughs> Disgusting. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Have you ever lied to get what you want? All the time. I'm good at it. Never is wrong to lie. On several occasions, it was necessary. Occasionally, I didn't exactly tell the truth. Okay. So, it's either between on several occasions, it was necessary. Occasionally, I didn't exactly tell the truth. I'm going to go ahead and say, occasionally, I didn't exactly tell the truth. As much as we all want to say, oh, but it was a white lie. Oh, it was a lie. It was no big deal. It was, no, 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 Let's be real. You still didn't tell the truth. So my thing is a lie is still a lie. So I'm going to go ahead and be on, I'm going to own up to it. Occasionally, I didn't exactly tell the truth. I'm going to go ahead and just say that. Are you always right? No, I'm not a know-it-all. I look like. Unlike some people I know. But I know it's right. Of course. And I make it known. Yes, but I don't always argue about it. I can always see the other point of person's point of view. Sometimes I am, sometimes I'm not. I'm gonna go ahead and say I can always see the other person's point of view. Okay, because I'm the type if we're literally genuinely having a conversation and you don't agree with me, that is okay. Cause I know it's gonna happen. It is okay. To agree to disagree. Or, um, I always like to see other people, I like to always hear other people's point of view. You don't always have to agree with me. Even if we argue. Now, I'm not gonna lie. I don't like arguing. I'm the type of person, once I say what I have to say, I know of this, I don't want to hear what you have to say. Or if I feel like it's like it's gonna be an argue, but it's gonna be like done and over with, I'm still just want to say what I gotta say and move on. But maybe I will hear your side of the side of the point or whatever. But yeah, so I guess for days I would say I can always see the other person's point of view. I'm gonna say that. Number nine, how good are you at using language? I'm okay. I'm not the best speaker, but I get by just fine. I love to make speeches and tell people what I think. I'm a confident speaker, and I sometimes get irritated when people don't listen. I hate speaking in public. It makes me nervous. Um, excuse me. Uh, I don't know. I'm an entertainer. I love performing. It's fun. Like, I like singing to people. I like dancing in front of people. You know, I like to go on the stage and do my thing. Or get in front of the camera and do my thing. Get in my zone. Get in my mode. You know, like, I'm in my comfort zone. I'm in my zone. But speaking in public... Okay, I don't want to say I don't like speaking in public. And I don't... And Okay, I don't like... To, I don't want to say I don't like speaking in public. But then at the same time, I don't want to say I like speaking in public. Because I just, ugh, I don't know. I feel like if I have to express my opinion, even though I'm more confident and open enough to tell my opinion and don't give a F about it, I can do that. But if you want me to be an advocate or you want me to go up there or to say some bull crap, I don't, I guess I have to go up there and say something if I know what the subject is about. I know my research. I know my due diligence. I know my facts. But if you didn't want me to go up there and just go up there and talk, I don't want to do that. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and say, 
I either want to say I'm okay, I'm not the best speaker, but I get by just fine. Or I want to say I'm calm the speaker. And the, right, Mr. Shea, what do you think? Do you think I should shoot? Okay, out of these four choices. I'm okay, I'm not the best speaker, but I get by just fine. I love to make speeches and tell people what I think. I'm a calmness speaker and sometimes get irritated when people don't listen. Or I hate speaking in public. It makes me nervous. Which one sounds like me? The one before that. Which one? The fourth one. I hate speaking in public. It makes me nervous. No, the fifth one. The third one. I'm I'm a confident speaker and I sometimes get irritated when people don't listen. That one. So you don't think I'm okay, I'm not the best speaker, but I get by just fine? I said what I said. Okay, fine. Mrs. Shady has spoken, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to choose C. Okay! <laughs> I'm so sorry to people that has their earphones in. What else? Okay. Haters? Do you ever take risk? No, I'm no, risk. No, not. <laughs> Did I ask you to? Let me stop. <laughs> no, I'm risk averse. I'll take a risk. Risk Eve. Yeah, I'll take a risk if I think it's going to get me what I want. I'll do anything that I want. I don't see any risk. I take the occasional calculated risk. It makes life in interesting. Um, I think I'm going to say I'll take a risk if I think it's going to get me what I want. I think I'm going to go ahead and say that. But I'm going to be honest. I'm really not a risk taker. I'm really not a daredevil. I feel like the only time I'm a daredevil is if I'm like on a roller coaster and I'm in my adventurous mode. Like if I'm adventurous, I can take risk. But at the same time, I'm not a spontaneous. I'm not a risk taker. So I'm going to go ahead and say I'll take a risk if I think it's going to give me what I want. Okay, guys, here we go. About the results. I feel like I'm more nervous for this one. Then the last one. I don't know why. But here we go, guys. View my results. Okay. It says, great. You have completed this quiz. Okay. Now it says, you got, you are an anti-sociopath. Yes. So, you guys, as you guys can see and heard, I am not a sociopath. I'm not a sociopath, nor I'm a psychopath. Oh, so if anybody tell me that, I'm like, it's not true because I took a quiz because I, because I, ooh, 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 because I took a quiz, okay? I'm so, I'm so embarrassed. It says, you're the opposite of a sociopath. You worry and care a lot about what other people do. It says, you worry and care a lot. About what other people think. That is a bold-faced lie. Okay. Do I worry and care? Yes. Because that's me. That's my makeup. But do I care and worry about what other people think? No, I do not. I don't give a dog on what you think. Sorry. So I get the first part, but not because I worry and care about what other people think. I really don't care what other people think. I'm sorry. I just really don't give a damn. And then it says maybe a little too much. Who? Who? Who, Sway? Who? I'm sound like an owl. Who? 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 Okay, that's enough. Who? Okay, that's enough. I'm sorry. That's just... Piss me off. But, you guys, as you can tell, and as you can see, and as you see, I'm not a sociopath, okay? So, we got all of this Halloween good. Okay, I'm normal. Okay, I don't want to say I'm normal. I'm normal. I'm different. I'm unique. I'm creative. I'm talented. I'm funny. I'm high -lateral. I'm one of a kind. Mm -hmm. And as an ING baby, okay, come see me. Anyway, I hope you guys liked this video. Make sure you like or dislike, thumbs up or thumbs down, comment. <laughs> please, please be fair. There's this. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Turn your post notification bell so you know when my is going to be here, okay? Remember, this video is going to be on the Pinky Show channel, okay? Remember that. 
Follow my Facebook at Pinky Pinky. That's P I N K Y space P I N K Y. You guys, please follow me because I need more followers on Facebook. I'm not gonna lie. I had a lot of followers on the last one, but this Bobo head, this knucklehead, this psychopath. Now he's a psychopath for hacking my spit, for hacking my page. Oh no. I want to report him, but I'm not. Report him. But anyway, so please, you guys, I have 84 followers, so please follow my Facebook at Pinky Pinky. Oh, but anyway, follow my Facebook at Pinky Pinky, P I N K Y, P I N K Y. Follow two of my Instagrams, one at Show the Pinky and the other at Pinky Bear 00. Please follow both of my Instagrams because I'll be lit. I'll be litty. I'll be litty. Okay? Um, follow your girl on TikTok at the Peaky Show because I be going crazy. Okay? And um, make sure you also subscribe to Peaky's Entertainment and Mr. Shady. Um, you guys know my saying. Let's smile for yourself. Don't worry. Be happy. Okay? This is your girl Peaky. P-I-N-K-Y. And I'm so fly. Holla at your girl. And make sure you have a happy Halloween. Cue music. Hey, this is your girl, Pinky. Pinky, Pinky. P-I-N-K-Y. And it's time for Pinky's Entertainment. A YouTube channel providing pure fun, enjoyment, and laughter. Yup, you got that right. I'm Pinky. And I'm so fly. Drunk in love.